of In Death. This may be a one-off kind of a thing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it'll probably be a one-off thing, just because VR content hasn't ever really gone super-duper well for my channel. But anyway, this is In Death. It's a uh, roguelite uh, first-person shooter, quote-unquote, where you use a bow or a crossbow. I haven't unlocked a crossbow yet. There's certain things you have to do and unlock. Um, in order to unlock other things in said game, like here's all this stuff, like you've got to things and kill people and stuff and things, whatever. Anyway, um, so we're going to be using the bow and arrows, that whole deal. Um, it's a couple different forms of locomotion in this game, right? You've got this thing, which is a little shardy thing. You can throw it down, and you'll get teleported to it. You've got a arrow that you can shoot, and it'll teleport you there. Or you can press the little touchpad button on the controller to uh, actually do this. Now, um, I don't think that the camera perspective is going to be too bad for this. Missed. He's like, what was that? Oh, there's a couple of you guys. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what the game is. It's dealing with various enemy types whilst using a bow and arrow or various means. Wasn't expecting all you guys to be here. <laughs> Loser. But yeah, this is the game that I decided to play. This is why I asked in the uh, in the uh, chat if any would be interested in watching a VR title, because it's been a little while since I've played VR, and uh, yeah, I bought this one. It's funny, this game is actually from uh, 2018. Hey. Yeah, it's actually a fairly old game as far as VR is concerned. Um, but uh, I think it's pretty fun. I actually bought this for my, uh, my quest back when uh, I could actually play that. It's pretty cool. I like it. And uh, I saw that it came out before for the PlayStation VR, just I hadn't, you know, actually done it. Because the Quest version was uh, more updated. Like last year it was updated, or earlier this year, whenever the hell the last time I played the uh, the Quest was. It's been a while since I've played it, obviously. We do have a shield, by the way. Um, so if we get arrows flung at us, we can uh, block them, like so. Eh, little shield. You can also shield bash things with it. It's pretty neato. I like it. Now I was expecting... There you Or there's one of them. Oh, look, he's so excited to see me. I don't know what happened to that other guy. Oh, there's a fair amount of you guys. <laughs> hey, what's up? But yeah, pretty cool game. I like it so far. Like I said, this will probably be a little one-shot just for anybody to uh, check out if they want to see some PSVR title and all that stuff. Um, I also asked about uh, Prey. There are other enemies that can spawn in the world. Blast them into violent explosion. I'll just do that. We won't use that just yet, though. Guys, yep. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm over here, guys. But yeah. I think this is a pretty neato game. Especially if you have any interest whatsoever in VR and archery at all. Just one of those guys. Yeah. Yeah, the only other, like, VR roguelite I've tried, I think, is, uh... Until You Fall. Which is... pretty good. I liked that one. Um, definitely not for everybody, though, as far as... titles are concerned. But, hey, I think it's good. What the hell are you guys doing out there? These guys are actually going to be kind of hard to take out, because... Ranged... A little awkward to judge sometimes. Ow! My chest. Or, you know, I could just kill them like that. Uh, your health is on your bow, by the way. You've got uh, six hits. No, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six hits. Uh, until you're dead. I think there's some upgrades for that later on, but... Way high. Come on. Ah, oh. oh. My damn liver! Oh, son of a bitch. You get a lot of those little hits on you on occasion. Where it'll, like, <laughs> just go under your shield or whatever. Oh, well. That's a healing thing anyway. Once we get to little rest areas and stuff, I'll, uh, check the chat. See what you guys think so far. That's a health. So we're two hits down now. Oh, nice. Rawr. I'm a bad guy. Rawr. Now you're dead. All right. There's some funny stuff you can do with this, though, since you have a uh, a teleport. Down. Oh, it's just a torch. I was like, what the hell is that thing? I think it's just a torch. Although there, I'm not seeing any other torches. Ah, oh, there's some enemies in there, though. Dang it. That guy's got a shield. I think he's gonna come out that way. Yep. There he is. Ooh, that was a good shot. Okay. I don't know how many more guys are in there, but... It's you. No, it's just a torch. Alright, that's weird. I don't know why there weren't more of them. Right in the damn arm. But yeah, there's some funny stuff you can do with the, the teleportation in this game that some people might not think about. For instance, I'm going to go up on this roof. Oops. So yeah. <laughs> That's just kind of some of the funny stuff you can do in this. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, the original settings for this game didn't offer free movement like this. Um, you had to exclusively use the teleportation arrows. But uh, thankfully they uh, decided to change that. So this is a little area that lets you buy stuff with your money. Money you get from killing enemies. We've got 2,997. Um, I don't really... I mean, I could buy some HP. Costs a fair amount, though. Anyway, let's check up on the, uh, let's check up on the chat. What do we got here? What do we got? What, what, what do we got? Oh, that's a lot of chat. Holy shit. Oh, let's see. Start it over. Na, 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 na. Let's see. Uh, why are you talking about the quest since you don't use Facebook? Exactly. Let's see. That's why I don't play the quest anymore. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, I don't think Blackout Club is going to be something we're going to be playing too much more, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Let's uh, jump back in to this. Okay. So yeah, we can buy some stuff and get some healing. Um, I think I'm going to hold off on the healing since we're only one down, though. Um, what have I got for arrows right now? I've still got the explosion arrows. Those are fire. Fire is pretty good. That's like a shotgun arrow. Um, let's go for fire arrows. So there we go. Okay. So our goal is to get past all this stuff, which is easier said than done. Ooh, oh, I don't want to use those right now. There we go. Fight on your terms, when possible. Is it really just the one guy there? Nope, there's more. Yeah, audio cues in this game are very important, though. You can hear them, like, whishing shing pull out their swords and axes and crap like that. I can hear the little zombie guys. You know, that guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy. Is that it? Ah, there's a couple archers in there. Could have sworn I saw at least one more in there, but whatever. Whatever. Is what it is. There's that guy across the way. And that guy down there. Headshot! Alright. So yeah, way out there in the distance where those other cathedral tower whatevers are, that's where we're going. Um, we could actually get there a bit faster. If we so chose. Because we could actually just, like, go along the rooftops if we really, really wanted to. And unfortunately, I haven't really used any of my super-duper arrows yet. So, here, let's just... <laughs> Got him. Here, we'll uh, use some of our... Explosive arrows and stuff. Didn't kill him, actually. So, which route are you going to take? Ah, you're going to go that way. So we'll probably see you along some of this. Really? 
to use for all those. Boom. Okay. We can go ahead and grab this now. I feel like it's not a waste. Okay. So we could actually go straight here if we so choose. Which I do. I think there is a correlation to distance of your shots to how much damage they do. Ooh, that's a good shot. Damn it. Oh. Dodged me. How dare you. 2,500, we get enough for another health if we want it, which I might, I'll be honest. But yeah, how were, uh, how were the graphics for you guys? Is everything pretty clear as far as uh, the visuals are concerned? It's like always my biggest concern with VR titles and streaming and all that. Look at that place. I don't think that's actually a place we can get to, but... Oh, I see somebody up there. Hello? Just laying into them with arrows. You do actually get more money for doing headshots, I believe. But, uh... Taking that hit. But whatever. I hear you, zombie. Hey! Got him. Okay. Think we're good to go. Ooh. Wall. We have got a fair amount to travel. This should probably be the last section we have to go through, though. Um, then we've got a boss fight. Sometimes I like to do a little check to see if we're going to be dealing with some enemies. I can already hear some zombies. Now let's go this way.
can hear them on the other side of the wall. Yeah. Those guys do teleport also, so once they get alerted, they they go around looking for you. Like that one. Hey. Missed. Come on. Come on. Making all these, like, nice shots from distance, and I'm biffing on that guy. <laughs> Funny how that works. looking it's a good looking game considering it came out in 2018 Some little tracking issues here and there sometimes good uh Good physics tracking on the arrows to, like, the hitboxes on the enemies. Like, you can conceivably shoot an arrow between their legs. It actually happens pretty frequently. It's like, look. See? Between his legs. In some games, you wouldn't see that, uh... level of, uh... hitbox, because... Sometimes that stuff can seem a little unfair. Yes, you can just dodge arrows that are being shot at you. Not as reliable, though, because if they go kind of center mass, it's a little hard to get out of the way, because there is a hitbox for your body beneath your head, which is not the same for every VR game you play. If you like archery in VR games, this is probably one of the better ones you can play. It's a pretty basic concept, but they do a good job with it. Thought somebody was gonna walk through there. Guess not. Nobody else. Yeah. It's pretty good, though. Pretty good. That, and if you like the whole... Whoa, hey. Be cool. Be cool, man. Yeah, and if you like the whole aesthetic, you know, the whole... What would you consider this? Gothic? Just religious? I don't know what you would consider. That's a ghost. Ow. What the hell? Oh, there's another ghost. Hey, stop that. Ghosts are annoying. Um, you have to hit a ghost in a very particular spot. In the chest. Yeah, there's like a glowy spot in their rib cage that you have to hit in order to kill them. Anything else just kind of slows them down for a little bit. Oh, and they go through walls, if that wasn't obvious enough, so they can be a little annoying. But other than that, 
not too bad. Wasn't there two? I could have sworn there were two. There he is. It's like I knew there were two of them. There's the one that snuck up on me and the one that was just kind of up there. Could have been good, could have been great, but no, I suck. Hearing little stippy steps to my left. Little stippy steppies. Aha! Surprise. Right in the face hole! <laughs> Really? Okay. It's always how it goes. It's like the easiest shots. I fuck up. a little mean, I'll admit. <laughs> I love how the physics interacts with some things. No? Yes? No? Are you... There we go. He's like, what was that? Jimmy, was that you again? Okay, last little shrine before we get to the boss here. I wonder if we can go up there. No. No, definitely not. Okay. <laughs> it's worth a shot, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we'll... Alright, uh, looks like the same stuff. I can get a heal. Might as well, I've got enough money. Alright. Stairs? Not stairs!
Uh, you don't have to kill all these guys, but... Why not? Right? What the hell? Somebody's teleporting around me. Ah, there he is. Hey! Where's your buddy? I heard two teleport sounds. Okay. If you're gonna be that way. I'll just... Wait for you. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, you didn't think I could come up there, did you? Stupid. Okay. This is where we're actually supposed to be going. Oh, oh. dark in here. This is exactly how it's actually laid out in the quest version. So if it wasn't apparent, um, your lead up to this particular section uh, is procedurally generated. Yeah, it's procedurally generated. Um, so every run through is going to be different, as is expected with any halfway decent roguelite. Hey, what's up? No surprises today. Ha ha ha. No, no, no. Bad at everything. Not a fan of the fact that we took a hit from one of those guys. Oh, 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 oh. there's the little opening to the boss. Ah, uh, fifty-fifty on if I beat this boss or not. Walk, try to walk through the door. Nope! You gotta teleport the arrow thing. Anakim the Abominable! Anakin! It's no use, I've got the high ground! There he is. I don't think I can shoot him from here. A real archer would be able to shoot him from here. Anyway, let's, uh, actually before that, uh, give me those. Yeah. Come on, stop throwing the thing. Ah, this is part of the problem that I have with this game. You can end up getting in trouble with how you uh, grab things. How about not? Yes. 
see, that's the part of the problem. The little teleporty thing ends up being a problem. Ugh, right in the face. Ooh. How about not? How about not? Oh shit. I am so dead. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Bob and weave, bob and weave. I'm almost out of explosion arrows. Almost out of explosion arrows. Ooh. No. Ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Woof. Rough. Hey, look at that. We got the crossbow. Yeah, obviously the biggest part of that fight is not so much the boss, but the ads. Um, I was really kind of hoping that... Uh, that's everybody we killed. All those guys. Not too terrible. Man, that song is a banger! <laughs> okay. So, before I end the episode, I'll at least show you uh, where to unlock and where to equip your other weapons. You just come on over here to the little altar. Shoop! And you grab it, and there you go. So, you just kind of do that, and there you go crossbow. It's pretty good. And then if you want uh, all that, yeah, then I think it's, yeah, if you want to do teleport arrow, you just press the same button to access this. Oh, look, we actually unlocked another arrow slot too, which is good. So, I don't know, let's uh, shoot somebody in the face with this thing real quick before we, uh, oh right, I think I need to actually put it in the other hand because my movement is still tied to this. Yeah, that'll be a little weird. Let's uh let's take care of that now. So, if you want to come on. If you want to swap hands, oh, you can't be in the middle of a run. Dang it. You're ruining the the stuff. Return to sanctuary, confirm. All right. I'm going to shoot somebody. But yeah, it'll go in my left hand. I suppose. So that way I don't mix up the controls. So right now I've got locomotion set up on the little touch button. Um, on whatever your bow hand is. So that would be a little awkward to uh, get used to something else. But anyway. I just want to shoot somebody in the head with this thing. Then we'll end it. Just so the game can be like, all right, you got a kill. Congratulations. Um, so we should be able to just come right over here. And then do this. Shoop. There we go. Uh, you can also do that with the bow as well. You can uh, go right-handed if you want, which is... it. That feels so strange. Ugh, I don't like it. Okay. So let's go ahead and shoot somebody with this thing real quick. Uh, 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 uh. Missed. Doesn't do as much damage as... Oh, that was a great shot, my man. Yeah, it doesn't do as much damage as that, but uh, you can do like this kind of a thing where you get the bow, get the crossbow, shoot it at the same time, which is kind of interesting. 
And then, uh, it's not as quick on the draw as the bow as well, but, I mean, you're using it effectively as a gun. So, that's something to consider. And then if you're bad like me, you know. So yeah, crossbow. It does crossbow things, as you would expect. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Right in the fucking hand. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely prefer the uh bow and arrow, personally. Ow. Ooh, run! Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh. Already dead. Well, I guess we'll just finish this run since I'm going to die here in two seconds anyway. Ah. Yeah, crossbow is uh, harder for me personally to use, but. Yeah, you get low HP. You have to listen to this fucking sound forever. Ah, oh, I don't know what hit me. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, crossbow. It's like it's awkward because I'm not a left-handed shooter, so I'm gonna play badly. But the way the control scheme is, is the locomotions on the. Yeah, it's. I don't know, it takes some getting used to, but. Um, if you have PSVR and you like archery, you like bow and arrow and games and stuff like that, then I highly recommend this game. It's pretty good, and it's a roguelite, so, you know, you know how I feel about roguelites at this point. Um, as you can see, different layout for everything, which is pretty neat, but, uh, yeah. Uh, eh. Eh, god damn it. Frickin' yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, that's gonna do it for that uh, stream and the episode as well. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye! I guess I'll look at the chat after everything's all said and done. Bye!